Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as well as America. So, last time, at the end of last episode, we went to war with France, with the Germans, and, well, the Germans immediately pieced them out because they won and humiliated the French. That being said, actually, they're right behind me in industrial score. We're still building up our military. We just need more population, really. Um, just to get more pops. I could encourage more pops as well to become soldiers. So I might actually do that too, instead of doing more liberal support. No, let's say, actually, that's not too bad, since there's a lot, quite a bit more social support here than there is now. Huh, interesting. Regardless, we are poised to go to war with Mexico very soon. We got a ton of infamy, which we need to lower down. And hopefully by the end of this episode, we go to war maybe with the UK? Maybe there'll be a great war we can dismantle them? Because we are allied with the Japanese. Oh, Liberia. Pay your debts. Uh, I just... Hmm. Hmm. Liberia. Well, you're already in my... You're already in my sphere, so... Puerto Rico. So, whatever. Also, I'm building up some more uh, forts, so that's why my money is probably going to go down. Industrial subsidies cost quite a bit, but that's okay. Join here with my cat, Binky, who's... Biting my shirts, but whatever. Oh, Southern Macedonia. What's going on here? So, Austria-Hungary and the Ottomans. That's a weird alliance. The Dutch and the Greeks. Well, see, actually, who's going to support who? So you're going to stri support Austria-Hungary. You're going to support Austria-Hungary. Austria... Almost no one likes the Dutch. Alright. Whatever. You know what? Can I get Italy in my sphere of influence? I would love to have Italy with us. Really strong U.S.-Italian relations. I think that'd be great. Also, I do want to start lowering my, kind of my influence with the UK, our relations with them, colonial education policy, comprehensive education, that'd be good. The Mexican menace, yes, yes, yes. Oh, France, why? Cool. And eh, we still gotta wait, so. Ah, uh, nihilism and the will. We are currently doing social alienation. Hopefully we go to war before this all brews over. Wow. You okay, Bink? You okay? Okay. Oh. Cut Austria-Hungary down to size. Acquire Southern Macedonia. Oh, what is France going to do? Support Austria... Okay, never mind. Crisis averted. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. And we're still waiting for this justification, which is fine with me since we still have so much infamy. Also, let's see. I have a ship fleet here. But I still use Ironclads and Man of Wars. We probably don't want to use that. I'm also building more ships up too, which is going to be very nice. Also, since we have, we're gonna go to war soon, you guys, Lafayette Doubleday. Ooh, that's an awesome last name. Doubleday? That's like Double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie, but it's Doubleday. Whoa. A boatload of bananas. With the expansion of our colonial ventures, and goods previously unknown to the general public, which are increasing, being shipped overseas, are being enjoyed back home. A banana boat has just docked in one of our harbors, and our citizens marvel at the sweetness and strange looks of this amazing new fruit. Previously unknown to the American public, as it is being unloaded by the crate load, people are quite literally going bananas. Ah, amazing. First tractor in Tennessee. Awesome. Ah, there we go. So we need to go to war by April or so of 1904 while we enjoy ourselves. Let's increase the relations maybe with the Italian boys. They're only a secondary power. They're not really strong. Their prestige is pretty much what's holding them back besides a low military and industrial score. We can have a better educational policies now. We already can gas people, which is always nice. Hmm, electrical power generation. Oh my goodness. Oh, I want mass politics. Oh, there's so much I want to get right now. Hmm. Oh, naval stuff? Uh, yeah. Let's get some dreadnoughts. And then we'll go for mass politics, probably. Probably. So, by April. Ex existentialism. I usually can't say that, but somewhat hard to. Cool. So, please, Europe, go to war with each other. Because it's early 20th century. We're still getting boatloads of immigrants from Japan, Russia, Austria, Hungary, Italy, even. Wow. Very nice. And let's make sure we got good relations with everyone around here, too. Nice, less than 24, and for me. Chile, hello, my friends. Adding a little chili or chile to our melting pot. Bolivia's looking real awesome. 
Sorry guys, I got plans for you later. Like a late game later. You know, if we go over infamy limit, I mean we could just straight up annex them. Once we go over infamy limit, but look at that. More units. More brigades. Aw oh, yeah. Let's see. One, three, four, five. Well, it's it's a start. Actually, how much are we spending right now? Oh, we have max military spending already. Oh, screw this then. Let's just go to war. I'll uh, give you one more month. Let's get that infamy a little lower. There we go. Come on, Bink. Come on, Bink. Let's see. I forgot I was spending all this money already. Uh, where is... Ah, oh, here's a the fleet. There you go. Come on. Yeah. You want the chair? Yeah. There you go, boy. Sit down. Take a nap. Alright, so we got another army over here. We can use another task force fleet over here and move up here. Oh, Mexico's got a few reactionaries. Sometimes they're, they're usually militant socialists. Wow, look at our, this army. Mexican patriots. Mexican patriots. You guys just don't have enough. Alright then. Uh, let's help our ally out maybe. They'll like us more if we help them out. So, Alright, let's go to war. Mexico, you're allied with El Salvador. Oh, that's different. That is very different. Actually, which state do we want? How many more states do they have? We could take this, Chiapas, uh, we could take Yelisco, Yelisco, what are the RGOs around here? We got a couple of, ooh, a little bit of coffee, oh, I should get some coffee, some coffee over here, we might want to take Yucatan, hmm, how the population wise, yeah, we want this state, that's quarter million people, Yelisco, whee! We don't need to call anyone else, and we'll probably be fine by ourselves. Go straight for Mexico City. Uh, go there, go to Tepic. Nice. Uh, come over here. Just casually doing American things. Conveyor belt's awesome. You okay, Vink? You're pretty loud, trying to bite your nails. And they're sieging us down, but whatever. No one cares. That's what I'm down here. Oh! There was a Mexican army down there. Campache. Oh, uh, what's... They're moving that way. Okay, whatever. Oh, there's a Mexican army over here, too. Are they attacking? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. I can... Oh, I'm gassing them. Too. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. So, really, the reason I'm not going to go over my infamy limit now is because... Uh, I really want to make sure we dismantle the UK first. Which, actually, you know what? You know, if I save scum, I could probably do this. I really want to see if I can call in Japan, Germany, and Russia just to beat up the UK and to completely dismantle them. That's the main goal. That's goal one. And then I can fight everyone else in the world. Alright. Good. Come on down there. A couple guys there. I wonder, if you, if you just go ahead and go this way, could you gas them? We might be able to. Oh, boy. That three just... Oh, my gosh. We just killed 48,000 on attack. Oh, that is devastating. I love it. Cool. Alright, guys. Head on over here. Oh. Nice. Hold on. A white piece... Who wants a white piece? El Salvador, we gotta get to as well. Let's get some up there. That'd be fine. Very nice. Very nice. Oh! No, we get dreadnoughts. Thank God. Alright. Hmm. One, two. I'm gonna replace two of those with a single dreadnought. It might not really be worth it, but do it anyways. Well, we'll, we'll, build, we'll build two. Mexico. Mexico. My son. Well, you're not my son, because I don't beat you. But, uh... Yeah, not bad. Gover oh, government. Oh, Kenyan economics. Huh. Administrative efficiency. Let's get mass politics. That'd be good. First tractor in Alabama, finally. Nice. And... Of course, Mexico's, Mexico City's already ours. That's okay. Beat these guys up. Hmm. There we go. That's what we want. That's all we wanted, man. That's all we wanted. What are you complaining about? I'm actually going to send you north just in case the Canadians get a little rabbly. You never know what the Canadians might do. 
you guys go over there, you guys come over to, to, to Tampico, you guys come right there, build up the railroads, we're gonna industrialize this place, we're gonna make it great, as some might say. Alright, so lower our money amount, because we might need to save some money for later, just because wars are expensive. Look at all that money, let's lower the terrace as well. Nice. Oh, and you guys, yeah, go back there. You guys come back to David. Great place to be. Last time we had rebels in Hispaniola. Nice. And I probably have to save scum to make sure that we'll do it. Okay, you guys, go ahead and get rid of these ships. They're not really worth keeping around. Steam frigates. Well, I'll just keep the troop ships. You okay, Bink? Alright, so what do we need to build these? Steamer convoys. Tons of steamer convoys. Do we have steamer convoys? Wait, let's see. Steamer convoys. Let's see. Steamer convoys. Uh, deselect all. Steamer shipyards. Clipper convoys. Convoys. Improve, improve. Uh, put up to one. One. Louisiana. Oh, that's all we have. Cool. There you go, Alabama. I'll help invest in Alabama. Nice. Let's press this. Very good. And... Now we can go to... Now, if we want to go to war with the UK, we just want to... Sm oh, free allied cores. Smash them to bits. Like, we want this to turn into a great war. We need two great powers on each side. Austria, Hungary, and France. Russia, Germany, Japan, me. Now, that would be interesting. But if we wanted to justify, what would we take? Cut down, release puppet. Humi oh, we could humiliate them. The procedure would go tanking down. That would actually be probably pretty good. But if we're oh, we could take their puppet. Can we take a puppet from their country and make it our own? They don't. They haven't released India. Freed allied cores. I don't know who has allied cores. Who am I? Hold on. Let's see. Who am I allied with? Where am I? There I am. I'm allied with... I'm allied with Austria-Hungary. Germany, Russia, Venezuela, Peru, Chile. Ah, so like these... Maybe some Central American... Latin American countries have some cores claims? I don't know. Hmm. What could I do to hurt them? Actually, hold on. I want, I want Canada. Can, if I release Puppet or just take Puppet... Can I take Canada away from them? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm not saying we're going to go to war immediately. And we're actually just just now behind the UK. They have over a thousand score, which isn't good. But, uh... Alright, well, as soon as I say something like that, we get some commies rising up. Alright, well, time to put in... Well, I guess they're not really too American yet. They're Mexican commies. But really, what's the difference now? Mexico is pretty much synonymous with America. Just almost. Almost there. Do we have an oil refinery down here? No, we don't. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. Oil. Uh, do we have anything around here regarding oil? You know what? I need some more steamer shipyards. They're probably bad to build out there. Whatever. Nice. <laughs> Our education efficiency went down. Our literacy went down, I mean, when we did that. When we took out uh, this little province. Uh, let's see, anything else around here that would be worthwhile? There's a lot of livestock. Maybe some canned goods? Cannery. Yeah, good enough. Cool. Alright, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, my friends, sorry about that, but it is what it is. But right now, we do have a justification ready to go to war with the U. Hey, we gain the Take Puppet Castus Belli against the United Kingdom, in which we're not going to go to war just yet, but we have until, like, maybe April. Anyways, we want to take the Puppet, we're going to take Canada. Well, luckily we can, we could take Egypt, but Canada is much more interesting, and it just, it has to be America's hat. However, Germany will not accept our call to arms if we go to war. Oh wait, Austria-Hungary will. Ooh. Hmm. You know what? Give me a month. Give me a month and maybe we'll see what happens. So we have Russia, Germany, Russia, Japan, and Austria, Hungary. If that's the case, we're gonna go do that. We do that. We do this. A little bit more tariffs and a little bit more taxi. 
Cool, but let's first do the search for the lost city of Incas. So, in 1909, returning from the Pan-American Scientific Congress in Santiago, an American historian traveled through Peru and was invited to explore the Inca ruins at Choquequirao in the Aparamac Valley, captivated by the old tales of the Inca Empire. He's now organizing an expedition in order to search for the Inca capital, the lost city of the Incas, founded by Mano Inca, their last emperor, and mentioned only in old chronicles. We can contribute to this expedition, help him in his quest by direct funding, by directly funding and making sure our education spending is high. Finding the city will be bring much more renown to the American scientific community. We lose money, we have to be at peace? No, cool. Also, we are doing army NCO trainings. That's a little important. Going to have lease, organize Laos, and that's pretty much it. So, give us one month, get some more guys moving up forward. Keep one guy around DC here, because you never know who's, who might be landing around here. We have another fleet, and actually, I don't think I've researched... So earlier, before I saved Scum and went back in my save, we did, we unlocked Dreadnoughts. Right now, we don't have Dreadnoughts, though. Steam Turbine ships. No, I mean... Yeah, we have that. So we don't have it unlocked or researched yet, so it is what it is. Whatever. Uh, oh, we can get Italy, maybe. Oh, if we can get Italy in the war, too, that'd be a lot of fun. That'd be great. Do you want alliance? No? Okay. Come on, give me one more month, and then we're going to go to war. Alright. Good enough. They're allied with France, which would be kind of interesting. I want Canada. So, let's see. Belgium won't accept. The Dutch will. Japan, Liberia, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Peru, Venezuela, the Russians, and Austria-Hungary. This is one ragtag team of uh, people. If we achieve this, we get 102 prestige. If we lose, we get only lose 84. And a little bit more militancy. We got a lot of consciousness. But let's go ahead and do it anyways. Cool. And now we're fighting the UK and our allies. The American-British War. Germany said no. Japan said no. Well, Japan said yes, but Belgium said no. Move you guys out here. Move you guys out. Well, actually, you guys can come right here, probably. You guys come up here as well. Maybe siege down some other places. We got Colombia down here. Oh, we got some ships down here, too. Uh, maybe I recommend staying around here. Maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Come out here in the seas. We have another navy around here. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to pull you guys up, actually. We're going to need you to come up here. I'm going to pull you to Oklahoma City in case we have rebels. And I'm pulling you guys definitely up here, too. Now, I can't imagine Canada has a massive army, but you never know. And we're fighting Ireland and Lithuania. Cool, they also have some guys over there, too, but whatever. No one cares about those folks. Maybe siege them down if you can, perhaps. Do we have an army around here? I think, oh, I did send an army down here to help take out some rebels. Well, it's not a great war. Oh, so we got Austria-Hungary, Russia with us. In Chile versus all these guys. Did France not get in the war? No, France didn't join them. Awesome. That's really awesome. Oh, Canada. You know, if we're, if we're fast enough, we could probably use, these, use this army to break down the Canadians. Oh, well, we lost six. What was that? Oh, Battle of War. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Africa. No, oh, Africa's going to be a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not really too worried about that. I really want to siege down these guys up first. Uh, Brazil, yes. Would you like to join the war, Brazil? Oh, they will. Nice. We've got a couple Brazilians on our side now. Let's see. They took that territory. Now, do the Canadians have gas and defense? No, they don't. Oh, my goodness. Now, we're losing a lot of guys. We're, us we're losing a lot of guys. But it's, uh, it'll be worth it. I'm sorry, Canada. But it's about time you joined us. Nice. We lost quite a few. Uh, there was some sort of tell there. People started mobilizing. That's cool. Very good, very good. You guys come there. You guys. Uh, you know what? What if everyone just came to Montreal? There you go. Beat them up. They're mobilizing, which is, eh, whatever. Okay with us. Chesapeake, we want to protect the... Area down there. Good. Uh, oh, the Dutch are... Actually, huh. Total war. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You guys keep moving up. What's going on over here? I don't think anything's really going to happen. Oh, hold on. Hold on. They got a big old fleet. Can't exactly see what's going on, though. 
they have 29 ships. No, and 32 more transports. Wowzers. All right, Austria is looking pretty good. Turks, would you like an alliance? No, we'll increase relations anyways. We'll probably continue with all these guys. Oh, I forgot about these guys up here too. Hmm, unfortunate. I wonder if I could just like, send you guys there to hang out. This is a global war for us. Oh yeah, do that. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Oh yeah. Canada will be ours. Oh, hello British boys. This might not go very well for us if we do this. Do they have gas defense? Oh, they don't. This is the perfect time to go to war with the UK. Oh yeah, burn them down, burn them down. Nice. We just killed 33,000 British boys. I'm sorry. Actually, you know what? Some both of you guys here, just in case. We have the other armies for sieging other stuff down. Suppress us now. Suppression's nice. Got an army there. That's fine to keep there. Got a navy. Uh, siege them down, or maybe leave that open. Blockade them. Not bad so far. Not bad. I mean, we're only fighting the Canadians, which... It's not like they have the biggest military in the world. Oh. We're not making any money. Just a little bit more tax. Just a little bit more tax. Not much. Not much more tax. That's why I wanted that little stockpile of extra money there. Very good, my friends. Very good. I'm going to you guys come up there so we can start sieging this down faster and move around a little bit more quickly. Uh, kill them off first. So the war is basically... It's only begun. It's only 12% of the way there. You know, it's fine. Whatever. Man, this is taking forever to siege you down. Awesome. Hamilton, you're next. I can't wait to have a great Canadian ally. Ah, oh. there we go. Beautiful. Evaporated. Mexico's having problems. But that's pretty normal. We might be able to. Uh, do I really want to try a landing attack here? Probably not. You guys come down here. Maybe we can take like Turk and Caicos. Maybe. I got some elections. Not bad. Are you guys getting any? Oh, they have gas attack. Okay, so they can't. Hmm. Interesting. Good that we know about that. They're gassing our allies. But what else is new? Can I... I can't come down there. Nice. How's Vietnam looking? Oh, it's looking... It's looking. You guys stay there. And actually, you know what? I'm going to have you guys come over here as well. You're going to dock for now. I'm going to send these guys... We're going to defend Haiphong as best we... Oh, maybe not. Even at Haiphong. Jungle would be good to defend in. Mm, I'm trying to figure out a good defensive place to just siege out. And defend. Defense is one up there. That. Uh, yes, but you have come in. Expensive jobs. Minimum wage? Why should we need that? We've always paid our workers exactly what they earn. And they've always been able to afford housing, clothing, and food. Well, not the best housing, clothing, and food, but they got by, didn't they? Our minimum wage policies have upset some of the American employers who are now exhorting pressure, lobbying for a minimum wage repeal on several influential members of both the parliament and our own cabinet. Well, in America, we don't believe in parliament. Uh, they're right as always. We're gonna piss some people off. Whatever. Hey, there you go. Declare a state of emergency. Huh. Our nation is under threat, and we must do everything we can to secure its future. Declaring a state of emergency, suspending a few basic rights, and controlling the press will allow us to keep the spirits up for a while and will suppress dissent. But the people won't forget this, and in the end, we'll have to deal with much resentment. <coughs> Excuse me. Deal with much resentment. Woo! Must need more exhaustion, million, minimum military spending. Uh, I've never done this before. Stay press only. Let's try it. An end to natural dyes. We have to be at peace. Oh. Okay, so I've never done that before. That seems really, really interesting, actually. That's probably going to come back in the butt to bite me. Hmm. Alright, so how's this looking? This is the most important theater for us right now. And then I might send some guys over to Europe. Actually, how is Europe doing? Uh, the birds haven't landed. Germany, would you like an alliance? No? Okay. Well, increase relations with you anyway. How's this looking down here? Pretty messy, honestly. Pretty darn messy. Good. Nice. Another one. Awesome. Awesome. Let's get some bolt-action rifles for less combat with. Good. 
You guys go over there. You guys come over there. Nice. A little bit more... T oh, wow, look at that. There's only a small range now that we can do this. That's cool. So a little bit more. See, I don't always just attack Mexico. I also attack Canada. Alright, good. I'm going to send you guys over here. Trucks and Caicos, maybe. Residency. Uh, yeah, let's, can we come? Oh, what are you guys... There you go. Good, good. Costing us quite a bit of money, but that's okay. Puerto Rico. Awesome. Is this Alberta? No, it's Saskatchewan. I really don't know my G Canadian geography that well. We're fighting... Oh, that's Egypt. I thought that was the Turks for a second there. Go kill them off. What are the Russians up to? Oh, they're... F oh, they're fighting Persia. That's good. That's good. So you guys get over here. Get on the boat. We're coming. We're all going to defend right here. Our athletes are victorious for the Olympic Games. Also, between the fade and fade out, I did get a cup of Earl Grey coffee. Very nice. Well, Britain, I mean, you can send your armies to Africa or Europe, but it really won't matter too much with me. Just saying, man. Just saying. This is a case. Let's see. Good. I start sieging down Nova Scotia. Good. Good. Eh, you might as well just stay there and see that out first. Good. Getting a little cold up here. Nice. Plurality. War exhaustion goes down. Or minus percentage. Good. Oh, hello. Yeah, you're right there. Good. And we should have someone else done soon. Someone soon. There we go. Soldiers, of course, need better food. Of course. Ah, uh, when Socialist America attacks Canada. I love this series. Ah, uh, there we go. We can get Dreadnoughts now. Nice. Uh, that being the case, we can't really build too many ships in different areas to all come here. So we gotta do some unlike... Actually, you got ten transports, so we're gonna go with like one, two, three. But over here, we're gonna build like not a steam frigate. One, two. One, two. Let's say it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I usually doing eleven, twelve because it's a nice number. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Still not putting us over the naval limit. Cool, let's move you out too. Come up here. Awesome. Canada. I love you, Canada. But I'd love it more if you were under us. Under our administration. I wonder who's president right now, since it's not like the president isn't the president doesn't really matter nearly as much as it does in our timeline, I guess. They're just it's just a guy there, you know, telling people to go places. Oh look, good, done. Are they invaded yet? Hey! Are Alice invaded down there? Oh. That's a lot of ships. That's a lot of ships. Well, we will invade the Irish as well. Nice. I really don't want to send my navy over there or any task forces until we're really ready, so... Uh, come over here. The Great American... British Wall. I'm sorry, Canada. I promise to rebuild you. We will have some sort of martial plan, maybe. Hopefully one of the secretaries here. Secretary of State is martial. Nice. Good. Good. How's the war going, anyways? 18%? That's not bad. It's not too bad. Oh, they still have an army down here. Actually, you know, we should probably help them out. Uh, El Salvador better pay its debts. No, we good, man. We good. All right, you guys come over here. Wait, why the heck? What the hell are you doing? You can't walk on what? You ain't Jesus. There you go. 
Last joke's done. Ah, uh, the best spot to invade, or one of the best spots to invade America through Canada in Hoi 4. Prince George. Next up. Nice. It must be really freaking cold up here. Oh. I do not want to go up there. They haven't invaded me anywhere else. I'm a little surprised that they're not dealing with me, like, sending all their guys to me yet. A little surprised. But, hey, that's okay with me. The home front must be secured. Go ahead and do that. That's looking good. Did we win? We dealt with them, it looks like. Good. I'm going to get some more force. How is Canada doing? Kind of awareness. Awareness. Good. And, yeah, they're sitting us down pretty harshly over here. But, you know, we got a couple guys over here. That'll be good. I just want to battle. Hold on. Whoa, what's going on over here? Ah, Japan's over here, too. Nice. The Japanese are in India. I love it. Russia's doing a great job over here. Austria. Oh, my God. Look at the Austro-Hungarians. They really want Egypt. Oh, yeah. Too bad this isn't a great war, but Lithuania's... Yeah, they're, they're getting destroyed. We we'll definitely have to invade Ireland at some point. So far, this war is going interestingly. Ah, Russia wants Lithuania, which makes perfect sense. Perfect, perfect sense. All right, good. Um... Well, I guess we can just send you guys this way. There's still more of Canada. Canada's a massive nation. Ooh, I spy with my four eyes a navy that needs to get beaten up. Let's go ahead and stay there. Ah, yes. Now this is beautiful. Hmm, come over there. Very good, very good. Come on over here. Come on. Now some guys over there, some Irish boys. It's all right. You're still moving. You're almost done over here, which is good. Let's see. Now we're not nearly, we don't have nearly as much war scores as we'd like right now. That's okay. France. Ah, they went socialist like us. Ah, look at that. Oh, they're actually winning. Well, not for long. There you go. And we killed off all the ships. We lost a ship, actually. We lost one of the troop transports, which is fine, you know, whatever. Uh, I can see you guys down here, then. That's a, that's a lot of guys sieging out one province in Canada. That's a, probably a little bit too much, to be honest with you. Alright, so head on down to over here. Because I'm going to have to gather up all my ships together to, like, suppress or destroy Ireland. Starve it out, maybe. Ah, they under an alliance, I see. Nice, good. Let's get more digging cap. Well, so far, there's no need for tanks. I mean, we don't have trenches yet. Yeah, but we will build some. Nice, yeah, so we got the ships over there. UK, they've mobilized. I'm glad I have not mobilized, which is a good thing. I'm actually making some money. Oh, that doesn't look very good. They're focused beating up everyone else than, than us. Ooh, debtor's prison? Bankruptcy? Huh, so administrative efficiency and tax efficiency. Impact, literacy impact. We're going to go with bankruptcy. That looks really good. Good. I can't imagine Canada's feeling too good right now. Yeah, their military score zero. Industry's dying. Italian liberation. Can I really afford a war with Italy? Uh, honestly, probably. I want Italy with us, but you know what? So be it. We're making this clown car just a little bit bigger. Cool. Actually, you know what? You don't need to move. You stay still. You come down here. That Japanese. I love the Japanese. Go over there. That'd be great. Canada. 
extra ship needs to be made. You guys are looking great. Actually, how's this fleet looking? Yeah, it's not too bad. You guys are looking great. Come up there. Ah, they're trying to hide in a little port. A secret port. No, no, no. Not a secret port, no. Never. Yep. Good. Canada's almost done. Lithuania? Yes. One less thing for them to do. Show wars. Hmm. Oops. Wow, we're minus 26%. Uh, battles. Oh, it's mostly just the battles from Egypt and Austria-Hungary. Unfortunate. But no matter. We, we shall still do well. Alright, so, you know what? There's only one tile here. You guys are all coming over here. Because we got a plan for an inv naval invasion. Or planning our navies to do something great. Are we building ships? Oh, we need more fuel. We need tons of fuel. Uh, well, we should have enough fuel. Should. And we're still doing okay. I and mean, we're still making money at, during war. Might as well stay there, hang out, have a good time. Oh, look at them. Very good. Come on down here. I might be able to peace out with Ireland first if we just siege it down. Maybe. Alrighty tighty. Across Adel Antarctica, yes. Of course we will. Are we getting any immigrants? We still are getting like 400 immigrants, that's awesome. If Italy starts destroying Austria-Hungary, then I'm just gonna piece them out. Ooh. Or earthquake of 1907. So a major earthquake has struck San Fran, California, today, causing widespread devastation and the loss of thousands of lives. Tremors have been reported as far away as inland as Nevada, but as damaging as earthquake and its aftershocks were, the fires that burned out of control afterwards were even more destructive. Within three days, over 30 fires caused by ruptured gas mains destroyed approximately 25,000 buildings on 490 city blocks. Due to a widespread practice by insurers to indemnify uh, San Francisco properties from fire but not earthquake damage. Most of the destruction in the city was blamed on the fires. Some property owners deliberately set fire to damaged properties in order to claim them on their insurance. In all, the fires burned four days and nights. Army units are hard at work bringing in supplies to the survivors and we can rest assured that the quake will leave its mark on public memories for generations to come. Wow. That sucks. Oh, more morale. Awesome. Wow, that is... God awful. Well, let's do it again. Alright, so Canada's pretty much dead. Yeah, they got 11 industry left. And then we're gonna get all. Oh! Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm the one making demands here, son. You have not won anything. You might have won a few battles in Egypt, and that's it. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely gonna piece out the Austrians here with this. This one, though. You can have that. There you go. Just so that Austria does not get destroyed militarily or industrially. We can always get that back later. Alright, so you guys are here. I'm going to pull you guys out. Just because it, it, I need to put these ships at home first. Alright, so we got a couple ships around. Oh. Hello, Ireland. That's going to be a big no-no. Kill him off. Siege him down. Hmm. If that's a case. Do we have an extra arm? Oh, yeah. Hello. Leave you guys there just in case. You guys, come over here. Uh, you guys are right there. You. Actually, we got enough armies at home. Come to Norfolk. How's Vietnam looking? Have they attacked us yet? They have not. Do they have gas defense? No, they don't. Nice. Siege all this extra stuff down that they sieged us down. Oh, Japan is... Oh, my God. Look at Japan and Russia. They're destroying India. Why did you want to peace out, UK? That's insane. You're you're stupid. You're absolutely stupid. That doesn't make any sense. Why would we peace out with you when India's getting just, just destroyed? Okay, good minimum wage. All right, so be it. Hey, Baroda. 
Um, I'm going to assume one of these guys is named Baroda. I really don't know. Oh, there's Baroda. Yeah, that's fine. You can have peace. Alright, let's continue increasing your relations with the Chinese, maybe? The American British War. Brazil, maybe? Maybe not. You guys. Austria. Japan. Increase relations. Germany. They have Poland in their sphere. Improve some relations again. Oh, wow, look at that. Japan looks really... Ooh. It looks... Ooh. That's all I gotta say is look... Ooh. Cool. You guys come, come over here and stay around California. You never know what the birds might do. Awesome. So, that's pretty much it for that side. Canada has been fully sieged down. I feel accomplished. Now, it's time to destroy some Irish ships. Puerto Rican government has been toppled. Uh, they're not really worth it. I don't want to deal with them yet. Nice. Let's get rid of those guys, and then we'll come on down here. Beat up, uh, beat up on some Irish guys. Uh, actually, you know what? Hmm, 60,000 is a bit too much. Come on down to the coast of Cuba. I'm sure you guys come right there. Beat up these Irish guys first. Oh, and we beat up their ships. Love it. And... Our guys are here. Nope. Maybe we can grab another 30,000 stacks somewhere here. Maybe... Maybe not. Yes, yes. Nolans. We might attack that group. Maybe, maybe not. So they're defending it. Oh, boy. Nice. Let's get some of that, too. I don't think we could win against attack. Nah, they don't have any cannons or anything like that, either. That's best to wait, though. Just best to wait. Oops. Now, do these guys starve? Do they get... But there's no supplies coming in through here. There really should be no supplies. Alright. Are we building any more ships? Like, guys, I'm... We have more than enough fuel. Like, seriously. Buying up stockpile? Yeah. There's really not a lot of fuel. Hmm. Wow, lost 10,000. And are we... What are we doing? They're really dug in. But that's okay. We got a really good dash roll. Awesome. Follow them. Oh, look at this. Hello. You wanted a battle? How about a glorious battle? Beautiful. We lost no ships. You guys are going to go head on home to repair and send you guys this way to hang out. Alright, you guys come back up here. I really don't want to invade this island just because it, there's a lot of guys there. I'm going to send you guys back home for now to this area. Thank you. Siege that down. Have a good time. Yes, yeah, Stormtrooper guarding. Awesome. France, Germany, increase your relations with these guys again. Russia's doing a great job. They don't really... Oh. Mexico is now militantly socialist. India has been fully sieged down. UK, you got nothing. You only have the home islands and a little bit of Africa, and that's it, man. Like, so, I'm, I'm, I'd be worried. I'd be very worried. Your manpower pool of trying to going to use um, that India. Not going to work anymore. Mm-mm. They want Lithuania to acquire that. Yeah, no. Alright, boys and girls. This is probably the moment of truth. And get some supplies. Good. Alright, send all the ships out. We're going to do something probably really bad. I'm even sending these guys over. All four are going to move together as one. There's quite a few ships. Ooh, do I have another maybe task force around here? I thought I did. Well, you guys are here. You guys can come on home, hang out. Let's see. Norfolk, Haiphong. Okay, yeah, Haiphong. That was the other fleet we made. Beautiful. Just awesome. 
You know, you guys come back down Saigon. Oh yeah, we can see this area down too. I forgot about this. Huh. Well, I'm more focused on this other side first. All right, meetings not allowed. Ten percent. Yeah, go with censored press. That's fine. All right, 118 ships. Oh, you need a leader. Hmm. Do you want to disappoint me? There we go, Christopher Grant. Uh, sure. Head on over to Ireland. Let's see what happens. I don't want to send any guys over here first. I really want to see if I can find their navy. Well, you wanted an alliance. So, what do you expect is going to happen? We've got a few dreadnoughts. I'm sure they got plenty of dreadnoughts. So, let's see what happens. Oh, boy. All right, this is it. This is it. This is what I was waiting for. I should have focused more on my naval ship. Okay. Oh my gosh, we are losing ships like crazy. Oh, they're they're out of transports. That's good. Oh boy. Oh, they're losing ships too. Oh my gosh. I really should have researched more on my naval, naval stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh oh. Their organization's really low though. This is exactly what we wanted though. They're not throwing other, other transport ships probably. Oh, we lost 19? Mostly these guys, which wasn't too bad. They lost an amazing... Okay, so that, that proves to me that the UK Navy isn't perfect. And that also proves to me that in the next episode, Ireland is going to die. Uh, what do these guys want? Travacor? Sure, that's fine. Cool. So, then we're going to end today's episode here. We're actually not doing too bad. We went to war with the British. We want Canada. They said no. I said too bad. India has been fully sieged down. Persia has been fully sieged down. They have not been able to attack anyone, really, in Europe proper. And we have fully sieged down Canada. But tomorrow we will invade Ireland. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we will finish this war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.